Fire is a living thing. When it moved through the suburb that I live in, it destroyed whatever was in its path. No one can really understand what it's like to stand and watch such devastation, to stand and watch such a monster. 20 metres high, this wall of fire, and I'm standing there with a garden hose. When the fire came to our house and we called triple zero and we asked for help, nobody came. We are watching clouds come towards us and knowing, knowing that people we know are dying. I never dreamt that the house that we lived in would be in any danger. We considered it to be suburbia. I could see one house that was up in flames, another house where it was obvious that the fire had been and gone and, and eaten the house. And I knew there and then that there was no way my house was, was gonna survive that. It's very hard to comprehend the loss of everything and to see your country burn. Climate change is real. We already know that it's going to get hotter and drier and climatic events are going to become much worse. This is what one degree looks like. How many more experts does the government need to explain that we are facing a disaster of unimaginable proportions? It feels like everything's changed and we need to stop the business as usual model and it, it feels hard to put the brakes on that. When people go through something, when they feel what it's like to have your belly slit open, when they feel that feeling of losing everything, I think then you would be in a position to make change. But what I am hopeful for is that the younger generation that we're seeing at the moment who are standing up, who are born into the age of information, Hopefully their voice will be stronger and the older generation will start listening to them because the future is theirs. If you've got kids or grandchildren, then you have to change. Otherwise they don't get the lovely life you've had. There was only one day that I stopped allowing myself to be strong since New Year's Day. And on that day, I sat down and I cried for about an hour. And then I put it behind me and I went back to work for the community. Because that's a leader. <laughs>